Hey everyone, this is Bernard with Explorers to Go. Today we're checking in to the St. Regis in Singapore. Let's go. Hey everyone, so we're officially checked into the St. Regis Singapore and we were assigned to the Caroline Esther suite on the ninth floor in room 910 taking the corner room. So let's start our tour of our very fancy suite. When you first walk in, we have the full length mirror facing the foyer. The foyer divides the living room and the bedroom. This foyer is very fancy because completely marble floors with this really odd shaped counter, which is also the mini bar has all of our fancy stuff, which is our Nespresso machine, Nespresso pots, TWG tea bags. And what's really awesome is because these, these are all completely complimentary throughout our stay, so we can order as much as we want. And down here, we also have a mini refrigerator, more storage space and cutleries. And into here, we have the living room. Once again, really nice very opulent luxury because we have floor to ceiling windows in a corner room a lot of natural light even though the view is not very fantastic but we have a view of Tang Lane Road which is kind of nice and nice seating spacious area down here two seats a lounge couch and welcome amenities from the St. Regis team thank you so much my mom's gonna enjoy the chocolate cake and then right down here we have a massive TV, I think that's at least 60 inch with a leather countertop and more storage space down here in the bottom. We have Bose surround speakers on four corners on top of the living room. And there is this really odd pillar down here that's kind of blocking the view, but I'm not going to be bothered by it. Right, so this is going to be our little work desk area. And then now we're going to take the tour into the bedroom. So this bedroom is completely private because you can close the doors. So it's a separate living space, a true one bedroom suite. And right here we have another TV, which is massive. And this plush, comfortable king bed with once again, carpeted floors, very opulent, old school luxury design. And then there's a mini window here with more speakers on the, the corner. I don't think they have any um, sight wall plugs to charge your phones, which is fine because the St. Regis was open in 2007. So some of the rooms are not very updated yet, but in the same time, I think the luxury appeal is still there. So in this corner, we have a little powder corner facing the bathtub, which is kind of weird, but no matter, you can close the, the shades and the shutter. And then walking in here, we have a walk-in closet. We have all the usual amenity stuff, which is a deposit box, store more storage space, hangers, bathroom robes, and a luggage rack. And then right this way, we have the really fancy bathroom. We have the tub here, full-on marble floor to ceiling with another chandelier in here, as you can see. And we have double vanity sink, very nice. And the Remedier, um, usual St. Regis bath amenities from Remedier. And right this way, we have the shower, which has a massive mirror when you can stare yourself while showering. And we have this shower head. I don't think it's a rain shower, but it looks really fancy with all these like gadgets and like jets down here. And bottom down here, we have St. Regis Remedier bath amenities. And then right this way, we have the half bath, which is also the toilet that leads into the foyer. So it's nice in a way that this bathroom has a separate private area from the, the bedroom and an extra vanity sink down here and back into the foyer. So we're gonna spend two nights here 
at the St. Regis in Singapore. Thank you so much for the St. Regis team for upgrading us and honoring our sweet upgrades. We are going to enjoy our time here and enjoy the facilities. So this is room 910 in the St. Regis, Singapore. All right, the time now is 4 p.m. So we are going to enjoy the complimentary appetito hour, which is a benefit for Bonvoy Elite members that are Platinum Titanium Ambassador status. It's completely free for the hour. Technically, it's for two hours from 4 to 6 p.m. You get to enjoy this benefit in the Astro Bar on Wednesdays and Sunday, which you get a selection of house pour, including wines, whiskey. I might try the Tequila Sunrise again, which I got yesterday, and a selection of light bites or d'oeuvres from the chef per person. Uh, yesterday, we had some little um, salmon mousse with caviar, which was really nice. And even though the bar wasn't open, but the front desk team was nice enough to bring all the drinks and light bites into the room so we can enjoy the happy hour in the privacy of our own room due to COVID. So right now, it's close to 4 p.m. We're just going to check out the Astro Bar because it's only open for two days in a week. And I heard it's really special, so we're going to enjoy some drinks and some afternoon cocktail. So let's go. So for the appetito, we have pork salami, ricotta cheese, beef sandwich and egg mayo and I got myself a gin and tonic so in terms of what's there to do around here in the city of Singapore uh, there's pretty much nothing around here because the hotel is located in the Tangling and Nasim residential district of Singapore so apart from the botanical gardens which is walking distance there's pretty much nothing around here besides a few malls that don't have much stuff besides a few eateries. Um, if you want to do anything fun or exciting, you really have to do about 10 to 15 minute walk to the central of Singapore, which is Orchard Road. And sometimes with the blistering heat of Singapore, that 10 to 15 minute can be really excruciating. So that's something to take note. But if you stay in the St. Regis, just pretty much stay in or just hop onto a bus and jump to other places if you want to explore Singapore. The next morning, we enjoy our breakfast at the hotel's main restaurant, the Brasseur Les Savants, which was available from 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. daily. Complimentary breakfasts are extended to all children under 12 years old, as well as Platinum Bonvoy Elite members and above, when selected as a Platinum Gift amenity upon check-in. There were no buffet as it is a limited service a la carte menu offering local delights such as laksa nasi lemak as well as made to order hot eggs cooked your way. You can order two mains per person and unlimited drinks and sides until breakfast closes. My highlights were definitely the pancakes and assorted pastries which were baked fresh daily. Amenities Our stay here lacked the true St. Regis experience as all the signature rituals including champagne sabering and the Bentley chauffeur services are all on pause due to the cutbacks from the pandemic. The gym, pool, and spa are all open, but you need to make appointments on the QR code which limits you to 75 minutes time slot per use. The pool is also rather unimpressive on the second floor. Conclusion Despite the cutbacks on luxury amenities and the poor service on some error issues over our bill, our overall stay was good, but nothing exceptional. Hopefully with the rise of tourism through the vaccinated travel lanes, we can see the St. Regis Singapore slowly returning back to its true six-star glory that it was once so famously recognized.